hello and welcome back to my channel so today we have just got quite a chilled sunday and um, we're just about to head out on a walk it's so nice outside i think it says it's like uh 12 degrees um and it is really sunny um it's only like nine o'clock in the morning so it's quite nice for the time but um yeah me and jack are just about to head out on a walk and then when we get home i've got a lot of housework and house jobs to do today um, but that is what we're going to do. So we're just about to head out on a walk and I'll update you when I'm back. So it's a little bit later now. We've got back from our walk. We went and did a food shop. Tesco's absolutely heaving, which I did think it would be because when it's sunny like this, I feel like everyone has barbecue. Um... Sorry if you can hear that, by the way. It's a little bit windy on my door. Um, window is making like a weird ghost sort of noise. But um, yeah, I did think it would be busy. Um, so we saw our friends in there actually. So we, for the first time ever, used the like self-scanner thing in Tesco. I've never done it before. I don't know why I thought it'd be really hard, but it actually wasn't. Um, so we've done that, packed shopping away, had some lunch and... Now I've just got into some painting gear and we're going to head outside and paint our fences. It's a little bit cloudy now, so I don't know. I've put shorts and a t-shirt on so I can try and get some colour <laughs> whilst I'm painting. Um, but yeah, that is the plan for now. I'm not going to paint for too long because we might go to the pub for some drinks with some of our friends later. I don't know, Jack wants to watch a football game, so we'll just see how we go, I think. Um, but I want to get get some done. In my head, I had it that we were going to go on our walk early, get started on the painting at like half 11. I think it's about two o'clock now and <laughs> we haven't started. So we need to. We're both very good at putting stuff off. But next weekend, it's a bank holiday and it looks like the weather's going to be really nice. So I'd like to get it sorted so we can actually sit out and kind of enjoy it. But we need to cut the grass. We haven't got anything to cut the grass with. Um, and I'm going to sound like a right idiot, I don't actually know how to cut the grass. We found a strimmer that the person who was in here before us, um, she left a strimmer here, um, but it hasn't got a blade, like Jack's just gone to get out and said there isn't a blade on it, um, so we don't really know what we're doing. But we need to cut the grass because it's gone so long before we can paint um, some of the fences, but I said to him, let's just get the top bit done. Um, and the bottom bit we can just wait if we need to um, but I will try and do like a little um, video of the garden so you can see because I'm hoping it's going to be quite a transformation obviously I've already started random bits of painting like I've painted the step of the deck in and two little bits of the fence and the door for the um it's like an out shed kind of thing um, so yeah I've actually already started that but we shall see how it's going to go um, but I am going to head down, down and start painting now and hopefully it won't take me forever. So we've painted a bit of the fence and that bit over there. And now we've done some garlic dough balls to sit out in the sun and have. Firstly, if you can hear music, that's our neighbours are playing music in the garden, in the garden, in the garden quite loudly. Um, so yeah, that's what that is. But um, we painted a bit of the fence. We haven't done that much. Um, we did probably like, I think we did one and a half panels. I'm just trying to think where, there, and then another panel over there. Definitely was much quicker us both doing it. I did a little bit the other week on my own and it was so slow and it seems to have gone on thicker um, with us both doing it, which obviously it was my fault. I was just doing it too thin, but um yes that is coming along it's definitely going to need at least two coats we're not sure what to do in regards to the back fence we think it i think it needs to be replaced because i think it's a bit rotten um so we will see on that but um we're just about to head to the pub i think it's like half five um we're going to sit in like a pub garden with a couple of friends and just have some drinks um so I'm just gonna, I've got nothing on my skin at the moment, although my cheeks are looking very red. I'm just looking in the mirror. 
little bit. Oh, I've got paint on me. I can't go out of paint on me. Um, but yeah, I feel like I look a bit red, so I'm not sure. Just see now if I've got any other paint on me. But I'm just going to stick on the Alea Unicorn Elixir Serum that I put on. Or that I didn't put on. But um, it was in my video where I was showing you my makeup bit. So this is what I wear sometimes as a um, base. It just gives like a little bit of like a luminous glow. Um, usually I would always wear makeup out. But it's sunny and so I can wear sunglasses. Um, and yeah, I feel like I don't want to put it on just to sit in like a pub garden for an hour or two. So put that on. That should take a little bit of the redness down my cheeks. So I don't know if I'm being a bit silly because I was going to put on like a lip and cheek cream. Um, I've never really used this. But let's just give it a little go. Just so I've got something and I look a little bit. Oh, maybe it's not going to come out. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this is going to look how I want it to look. I don't know what to wear either. I'm just a bit unsure. Um, okay, I think I'm going to get a sponge to blend that in. Am I doing it right? <laughs> um... I'm not really sure if that's made any difference. I don't understand why my cheeks are red. They're not usually red. I'm a little bit stressed by it because I think I look very pale with red cheeks. But um, anyway, we're gonna go with it. So I'm gonna get dressed. I don't know what to put on. I never know what to wear. I'm either gonna wear like a long floaty dress and trainers or I've got some like loose baggy trap. That sounds not good. But they're like flary loose trousers um with the top i don't know it's, it's a bit windy but it is sunny and warm at the same time so i'm not really too sure but anyway i'm gonna get changed out of this and go so we're back from the pub um just now we just went we sat outside it was really nice actually the sun came back out a bit so that was nice i just wore this um pink jacket um over the top of this dress it's like a long pleated you're not be able to see it a long pleated one size dress it's like a maxi dress um but yeah that's what i wore um and i'm just getting sorted and gonna get into my pajamas um and make dinner we're having homemade well sort of homemade pizzas um i'll show you downstairs the dough that we use it's from the northern dough company um but we're gonna have that and then just have a nice chilled evening really um i'm looking outside and i can see the fence that we painted earlier and it looks so much better painted at the moment it's like um like a brown wood well it's all different that side's light brown that side's dark brown the back's green but it looks so much nicer we're doing it in a gray color so i will show you um like a full transformation when that's done um but we've got a tree in the back of our garden that we want to i think we want to get it removed i mean it's really hard to know because at the minute it's obviously like a shield of privacy and the people behind can't see in um so i don't know whether or not to remove it it's a hard one um because as I say, it's got the privacy at the moment, but it does block a little bit of sunlight and it makes it feel a bit smaller. You can't get to the fence to paint it. And I just feel like it'll be so much nicer. Um, I just don't know. I don't know anything about gardening or gardens. So if anyone would know how to do, to cut a tree down, do you have to get a professional to do it? I don't know. But um, anyway, I'm going to go and make dinner now. So this is the dough all rolled out. It's obviously not very neat, but this is um, the Northern Dough Company. We just buy it from Tesco, it's a frozen one. And we have half a dough each. So this one's mine. It's literally just um, mozzarella and chorizo. And this one is Jack's. He goes for quite a few more toppings. So he's got um, chicken, chorizo, mozzarella, jalapenos, red onion. Have you got anything else on there? I think that's it, isn't uh, it? Yeah, I think that's, that's everything. It. 
And then, so Jack's just gonna have his like that. I'm gonna fold mine. And then we're gonna stick it in the oven. And we've also got these, which we're gonna pop in the air fryer. They're soft cheese and garlic um, bites. They were reduced in Tesco. So we thought we'd have them today as well. Um, so yeah, I'll show you what it looks like once it's out of the oven. But we find half a dough is absolutely fine for us. Um, and yeah, it tastes really nice. So this is mine done. It doesn't actually look very good. I promise it tastes better than it looks. It's, it does go a little bit soggy on the top, but I don't like, well, not so, it's not soggy. That's not the right description. Just soft, but I like mine a bit softer. Jack's actually looks really good. His is, because he has a pizza, it's a lot like crispier here. Um, but yeah, these are the little cheese ball things they look really really nice so i'm very excited it's the next day now and i've just had a shower at a really random time so it's monday and i've had a shower at half two in the afternoon but it's just been one of those days i went for a walk this morning um at well, not that it matters the time but it was like half ten ish and then when i got in i was really tired for some reason um and i just sat down on the sofa and basically fell asleep for a couple of hours so that was fantastic um and then i had to obviously make lunch so i've done nothing in the house and i meant to wash my hair this morning because i wanted it to air dry throughout the day and that's just not really gonna happen now so that was brilliant of me but um yep yeah, that's how today's gone um so i've still got all of the jobs to do like i need to change the bed and tidy away and just get on with the day really and the sun's come out so that's really annoying because i kind of wanted to sit outside but i've shot myself in the foot a little bit by not um not really allowing myself to do that but yeah as you can see i've washed my hair so i've got it in this like microfiber towel thingy but um yeah, I was just wondering. So I have got actually really curly hair. Um, so curly that when I was little, I actually had an afro. Um, if I can find a photo, I'll pop it in. But genuinely had an afro. And it's something um, that I get my hair from my dad. My little cousins um, get it from their dad as well. Like they've got even curlier hair than I think I had. Um, I just don't ever know what to do with my hair. So it is naturally really curly and i used to have a hair treatment on it called extenso i think it was a l'oreal treatment but i don't know i just kind of i don't really want to have that treatment done every time but i used to have it done once a year but and it was good but um the roots around here obviously your hair grows and it still stayed really really curly um so i don't know what i want to do basically i don't want to embrace my natural curls i don't like having curly hair really um it's not how everyone thinks it is and i totally get that we all want what we can't have but everybody thinks that having curly hair is like when you see like really lovely ringlets it's not like that <laughs> for me i have curly hair well my hair you can see here it's starting to wave so my hair is like curly from here to like here and then it's straight a little bit and then it's like stupid it's not even curly it's not even wavy it's just so dry um which i know is because i straighten it and i put heat on it but that's why i do try and cut out the blow drying stage um so that obviously i'm not having to use as much heat and i don't make sure my hair is perfectly straight i just i'm straightening it out <laughs> basically um but i just never know what to do so if anyone has like the same kind of hair as me then please help <laughs> because it's really annoying and everyone yeah everyone just says like oh embrace your curls and no i don't want to <laughs> i don't want to have curly hair but i don't want to have straight hair i just want to have nice healthy feeling hair that i can style myself and i can brush when it's dry and it doesn't go like this oh it's just a challenge and i don't even know ever know if i'm using the right products i've tried using expensive shampoos and conditioners and not really found much of a difference so i've just been using cheap random whatever i buy at the supermarket that day um and yeah i don't feel like my hair is any different really 
it needs cutting so i need to nag my friend because she's my hairdresser <laughs> and get her to cut it but i just put in a bit of the naughty i think it's called naughty oh this is going to be backwards because i'm filming it on selfie mode by the way but it's this naughty um thirst aid spray which says it's a conditioning and a detangling spray for dry and damaged hair i'll use a bit of that and then i was gonna try this i've not used this one before really well i probably have but i don't remember it and it's the lee stafford coco loco it says it looks like a milk acts like oil um Actually, I'm probably not going to use that because if I put, um, yeah, if I put oil in my hair and then I don't put heat on it, it looks really greasy. You like have to melt the oil into the hair a bit. So maybe I won't use that. But I'm going to use this one because this is a serum that I know I can use. It's the Lee Stafford Shine Serum. So again, I've got a lovely oil that I like to use. But if I'm not blow drying it in, then my hair is not a good look. But, um... I'm just going to rub that serum into the ends. But yeah, I have watched, um, what is it called? Like the curly girl styling or something that someone suggested to me. But that's to make your curls look nice. But I don't want my curls. <laughs> someone else can have them. It's, it's so typical because it probably could look nice if I had the time to put into it. But I don't. Like I have to wear my hair up at work all the time. So I do just, I'm always quite conscious of like hair breakage and stuff. So I do put it in like literally a low ponytail, which does not look cute, but just so that it doesn't, um, doesn't break. And the only time I have it in a ponytail is if I'm doing exercise or it's hair wash day. It's like once or twice a week and I take it down as soon as I can. So I, I do, um, think I'm quite mindful of like trying to prevent my hair from breaking, hence why I'm using this like microfiber towel i think it was from primark but i can't remember might have been new look i think has it got a label in it no i think it was primark but it's just um like the turban here and it does feel really soft like you know you can get some microfiber ones where you touch them and if you've got a rough bit on your nail it catches and it makes you feel sick um this doesn't do that which is really nice so I have been using that and I've got my Tangle Teaser hairbrush that I use. Um, but now I'm just going to leave it to air dry for as long as I can. I mean, I am actually um, out tonight, so I do need to. I'm not like out anyone else. I'm just I'm at netball training, which I know seems weird to have washed your hair before you then go and do sport. But I don't wash my hair every day and because I'm trying to let it air dry. Oh, this is such a long winded way to explain, but because I'm letting it air dry it won't um dry overnight and i can't blow dry it in the morning because jack has his day off tomorrow and it's not very fair if i start blow drying my hair and waking him up um that's a little bit evil but i'm just gonna literally clip it behind so it's out of my way now um whilst i get on and i'm gonna change the beds and then i'm gonna maybe sort out some clothes um to list on vintage i've got so much up on my vintage um it's ridiculous but i i just need to get rid of them and sell them basically so i've got all of them on there and i'm gonna add some new bits now as well i'm gonna go through my wardrobes like my summer wardrobe and realize that some stuff just isn't gonna fit me again so i i will just pop that on there um and maybe sort out some clothes like winter clothes to go under the bed um in storage i know that seems a little bit premature because it's not constantly some like summery yet but i think the big thick winter coats can probably go away well they will go away because even if it's freezing cold one day i'm not wearing them um so yeah that is what i'm gonna do now and i'll probably catch up with you when i'm going through my clothes to sell so i decided to sack off all the jobs inside and come and sit and sunbathe that's my lily from B&M that was meant to be a pink lily, but it's orange. But um, yeah, the weather's too nice to not be outside, so I'm just gonna sunbathe whilst my hair dries and enjoy the sun. So I'm just making us a chicken pasta for tonight. So I've got the chicken and the pasta on to cook, but I just thought I'd show you what I add. So I add in um, 
think this is one and a half onions. I'm actually making three portions, so Jack's got some left over for work. But this is one and a half onions, a grated carrot. Then I put some mushrooms in and like three quarters of a pepper. And then we add passata, green pesto, red pesto, which I need to get out, soft cheese, um, and tomato puree. Um, and I just season the chicken with chicken seasoning or barbecue. And then I'll serve mine up and add to Jack's some, where is it, from jalapenos, Frank's red hot sauce, this heaps of chilli puree, and a little bit of this chopped chilli and marinade, but apparently that's really spicy, so that is what I do for our pasta. So if I remember, I'll show you what it looks like after, and I might do some garlic bread. I'm just trying to decide, but yeah, that is what we're having for dinner. So Jack's just about to try his pasta. I've done him one with a bit more chilli in, so what do you think? It looks hot. Yeah, I know, please don't burn yourself. <laughs> um, I did do garlic bread with it. I know I wasn't sure, but I thought I would, because um, I wanted some. <laughs> it should be spicy. Please say it is. <laughs> yeah, it's got a kick to it. <laughs> <laughs> Not like too spicy, like a good level of spice. I put a bit more of that um, chilli marinade stuff. I put a little bit more of that in. Becca makes a damn good pasta. So you like it then? Yeah, always like your pasta. So I've just got to my netball training and this is my hair. How it is, it's dried naturally. It's dried really quickly today. Sometimes in the, um, like when I leave it overnight, it doesn't dry. Um, but I think because the weather's been good, it has been. But I'm just going to whack it up in a ponytail now. Um, and then it'll all be downhill because I'll have brushed it. I'm home from netball and I've just made this dessert type thing, which is a bit odd. I basically just made it up on the spot. I'm convinced I had it years ago and I really liked it. And it does actually taste the same, but I've just put porridge oats, golden syrup, light brown sugar, and a bit of butter, like melted butter in it. And it's basically tastes like unbaked flapjacks, which is really nice. And Jack's got a bit, but I think it's really weird because he's mixed his with cherry yogurt. I'm not sure it's going to go. I'm not but, putting it Well, you've got it in the bowl, so... Um, but yeah, this is like syrupy, unbaked flapjacks. So nice. I, I don't know what I would call it. Basically just unbaked flapjack, I think. But it's really, really good. So it's now a few days later and I realised that I forgot to end the video. So I thought I would just pop on and say goodbye and I will see you in my next video next week. So I hope everyone has a lovely week and I will see you then.